Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Lillian. It's perfect sweater weather today. And I am off um, again. I got home yesterday about 10 from the center. It was awesome. Uh, I had a small intimate gallery. I'm still learning to feel the energy out in my center. How many um, students can I have per class? How many people can I have per gallery? So it's really nice. I think um, eight is the lucky number for gallery. And for students, about eight or 10 as well uh, per class. So we are today maxed out with our mediumship class. Today, advance week one begins. Um, and now these students have worked from beginners to advanced. So they did four weeks of beginners, mediumship development class. They did six weeks of intermediate mediumship development class. And now they are beginning advanced, which is eight weeks. Um, and again, this is in person in Itasca. And I'm very excited. They're doing well. They've become a great support system for each other. It's just beautiful to see how students in the class uh, become friends and uh, long-lasting relationships develop. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, we go through healing. We go through good times, emotional times. We go through all sorts of ups and downs together as a team, as a unit. No one is better than anyone. Ego is left outside. We are supportive, we lift each other up, and it's a wonderful environment to be in. We bring munchies, so everybody brings something, and we have food, and we have lunch together. So it's really, really nice. Um, class is from 11 to 1. We break for an hour, and then we begin the mediumship, uh, the anatomy of a mediumship development. And we are beginning, we're actually finishing off week five of the first level and beginning level two so we're excited about that so i love 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 the psychic class i love both classes but i love good morning hope and hope is my student teacher and uh hope teaches alongside me she is really learning to lecture and to introduce the week and she holds the circles for the students to support them during the week so it has been amazing to see her evolve and her grow into the teaching position. Hope I love you. I don't know what I would do without you. Class would not be the same. The students adore you. You are a natural and it's amazing. Uh, in order to be a student teacher, you would have to be a certified medium and at least be active for a year uh, before we soul side out will consider you for being a student teacher. She's also a student teacher through the Parliament Academy of Spiritual Development, which is my my school and uh, she's helping with the psychic class as well so it is uh, fun today today we do um, projects with water and it's confidence building so that we can learn psychically how imprints uh, work how does a psychic pick up on thoughts emotions and environment uh, you know as we know obviously a big percentage of the body is water so water retains energy water retains imprints which is where our memories are or it helps us to be a conduit for it and so today we're going to do a couple projects with water and measure the energy of the water based on what we're doing to the water with the pendulum we are also going to do uh games with cards so opening up our aura and tapping into what color it will be. So it's confidence building exercise. Every week for level two, we work on a different clear. So there's different projects. Uh, there's one day where we do the confidence building exercises. Other days where we do the readings psychically um, using our clear. So clear feeling, clear hearing, clear seeing, clear knowing. So that's that, that's two classes. And then after that, I have a mentorship from four to five. And then I have a reading from 5 to 6. Um, and then I'm done. So it's a full day for me today. Uh, most weekends are working weekends for us healers and readers. Uh, a lot of people say, I, I would love to do that. I would love to understand how people's energy. Um, I would love to teach. It takes devotion, dedication, patience, love, motivation uh, to just genuinely loving what you do. I get up every day and I'm, t I'm a little tired because I was at the center all day Friday. Got home at about 10, got up, was back at the center about nine. 
same thing today, but I feel, I feel wonderful. I feel excited to do the work. Um, and I love doing the in-person. It's been really nice to have the center because, you know, it, and, and I'm telling you guys, it's a small, cozy little spot with three rooms, a restroom, and a hallway, and it is perfect. Um, it's not more than what I need. It's not less than what I need. It's perfect. And I'm excited and motivated to get up and be able to do what I love and help people. All my life, I wanted to help people, and I had to figure out a way to do that in a productive way. And uh, you know, this awakening spiritual journey has really taken me to to that place of understanding that, understanding what I am here to give. And it wasn't my home. It wasn't my money. It wasn't all these material things. You know, it was indeed my heart. And I'm excited about that. So. See you soon, Hope. That's a little of what we're doing today. And again, it, it, you know, it's not easy. But the same students that are in the mediumship class, they are taking the psychic, and you know, we stop the break and they go right into the second class. So again, they're showing devotion, dedication. Um, I'm inspired by them as much as they're inspired by me, and um, they're doing a wonderful job. They're excited. We took a break, and they're like, I want to go back. I miss everybody. So. We definitely miss each other we become a family and that's how we do online as well people say I don't want to take the class online you know because I feel like I'm gonna miss something well obviously you're not gonna see the physical bodies in front of you but the bonds that are created in the class the support the exercises the handouts um, all of that is is the same uh, you evolve the same way because again it has to do with your dedication and your motivation so that's a good thing. So that's that's what Lillian's doing today. I'll be done at about six, but today is also a new moon. So I wanted to do a new moon ceremony, which I'm excited to do uh, because uh, my shaman, my beautiful shaman Muriel, she is uh, amazing. Muriel Gray, if you're interested. Uh, she showed me how to do uh, ancestral karmic and I'm gonna do that today for my family so when I'm done I'll do that and then I'm, I'm done for the day you know then I'll be done and you may go to head home so normally Mondays are my off days but right now uh, myself and Mark Tory we have a circle in the evening that we hold space for at seven o'clock I don't know what week we're in right now I haven't even kept track of that but I am looking to open up the space for a circle in the center Again, the circle will probably only hold about eight, but I have more than eight people in a wait list already lined up to come. So I'm going to be doing that as soon as I'm done with the classes and then setting dates for my new mediumship development classes and psychic development class. I'm also going to teach a trans class. So if you're in the Chicagoland area and you're wanting to develop, this is something that you would like contact me reach out to me if this is something that you would like to do online all of my classes that I teach in person I have taught online for a while so again there is mediumship development psychic development trance which is uh, I call the class uh, the anatomy of all spiritual altered states it's amazing it is taught by my student teacher it is my material but taught by my student teacher uh, Charlie which is a shaman as well so if anybody's interested in taking a class it starts this week my online psychic class starts this week as well so my in-person is full and registration is not open for any of my classes but registration is open for the spiritual anatomy of altered states online as well as the psychic class online and Luann is teaching an intermediate through soul side out just intermediate class which is an amazing class teaches you how to use your clairs your guides troubleshoot many different things so if you're interested let me know but I just wanted to share with you guys what we're do what I'm doing today so I'm on my way to the center but I have to stop at Walmart because I have to get labels because I want to label the waters that I'm using for the psychic class I have to get a gallon of water to put in uh, the beautiful jug thank you Becky that Becky brought uh, lemon to put in the water and ice I'm gonna I attune the water for the students so while they're there with the class I'm helping them and assisting them through attuning the water which means charging the water for them to drink through the day and then we also have magnesium water shots which um, students take 
gift or it is available for them to take one while they're there. Uh, again, because we're in the higher frequency, it, it, it affects our magnesium, our potassium. Uh, so we, we try to have dark chocolate on the floor to ground as well as now we have the magnesium which is sold by Cetaline. So a whole bottle you can um, put into a liter of water and um, you just take the shots. It last for a while, which is awesome. So again, this is what Lillian's doing. And I would like to thank everybody for posting on my page yesterday the songs that you posted. It was awesome. I noted them. Uh, so when I do my music melting exercise, I'm going to um, use them. I was excited. A lot of emotional songs, but it was brilliant. I was very excited that you guys shared that. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing something so beautiful and personal to your heart. I truly appreciate it. And if you have any questions about anything um, in reference to me, what I do online or, or anything at all, comment here in the video and um, I'll answer when I'm not driving but again I like